In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sniff email packets using Wireshark. Now in this case, I'll be using SMTP as the transfer protocol because it is the easiest to visualize and actually show and sort in Wireshark. So first off, you're obviously going to need Wireshark. If you're not familiar with the program, I made a beginner tutorial that you can check out. There's a link in the description. You can go uh, head on over and uh, learn a bit about it as it can be a bit complicated and a bit daunting from the very first open. Now, once you're all set, uh, select the adapter that you wish to use, the one with the most uh, packets coming through. So in this case, that's Wi-Fi, boom, looking beautiful. So there's actually something coming through, that's a good sign. So then you will need Telnet enabled. Uh, Telnet isn't enabled by default on Windows, which is a good thing because it's insecure, but in this case you need Telnet in order to connect. So in Windows it's as simple as searching for turn Windows features on and off, in this case I have it right there. So I can open it on up and scroll down a bit and you'll see Telnet Client. If it's unchecked, just check it and hit OK and it will install everything for you. So that's all good. And we still have a Wireshark running. So it's good. Windows R, type in Windows R, and that will open up Windows Run, the run, and type in CMD, command prompt, and that will open a command prompt. You can use whatever version you want, whatever opening method you want. You don't have to use Windows Run, obviously. Uh, and we'll go to that. Just type in telnet gmail dash smtp hyphen in dot l dot google dot com port two five. I'll put this in the description so you don't have to type out the whole thing. Hit enter and you should get a connection. Boom, two two zero. Looks beautiful. So that means the server is connected. We have a handshake. That's all good. Now, in case it just sits and hangs for like a minute and then says there's an issue, uh, your IP uh, sorry, your internet service provider is probably blocking outbound port 2.5. Uh, this is to prevent the sort of mass mailing attacks we saw back in the mid, early 2000s. So the alternative port is 587. So instead of typing uh, google.com 25, put in two, uh, sorry, enter 587. I'll put both of these in the description, make it easier. Uh, so once you're here, you've got a connection to the server. That's great. You can type in absolute gibberish, hello world unrecognized command as you would expect now there are actual commands you can use uh, but that's requires authentication so if I type in hello the send I'll get an error and be disconnected this is not authenticated with Gmail I haven't logged in and there's no content to the actual email I just typed in the send command uh, but that's all you need you just need to see that you have an active connection with the email server and then you can hit stop so you don't get overflowed and uh, obviously it's going to be an absolute mess of different packets. So the easiest thing to do is up here in the filter SMTP, hit enter, and you can either read the packets individually or just follow them. And so as you can see, connection, that's the first thing. That's me typing that out in the red, which I can just isolate just the red. So that's what I've typed in. As you can see, this is what I received from the server. And this is the entire conversation put out. So obviously if you were to write an email, email uh, it could easily be intercepted uh, as this is completely unencrypted and was captured by Wireshark. Uh, so that's, that's a little bit scary actually, but you can see the acknowledgements. Uh, so it's all good and you've been able to capture it. So that's why you don't use Telnet specifically. It's used a lot for uh, authenticating and logging into Wi-Fi routers to control it, the admin console. Uh, if you have that enabled, I strongly suggest, highly suggest you disable it as it's easily uh, interceptable, if that's a word, and uh, it's quite insecure, so I would not recommend having it on. So that's pretty much it. You yeah, have been able to see how to capture emails that are being sent using SMTP. Uh, if someone was actually to write an email and use SMTP, then obviously you would see that instead of just a bunch of random data hello worlds and whatnot so thank you very much for watching uh if you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing obviously helps out the channel quite a lot uh and so that's about it thank you very much for watching